guys. Good morning. I just spilled coffee all over myself. Uh oh. Uh, no, not on the white fur. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is actually my first day of junior year school. I'm all ready for school except for my hair is not done. So I thought I would show you guys what I do. Typically like my hair care, hairstyles routine. I get so many questions asking what products I use, how I curl my hair, how I grow my hair long, how I do certain hairstyles. So if you are one of those people who had those questions, this is gonna be the video for you. One of my biggest tips for you guys is to not wash your hair a ton. It sounds like kind of gross, but that is the key to growing your hair really strong and not losing as much hair and having healthy hair So I wash my hair every other day But lately I've been trying to stretch my hair out for an extra day meaning like three days No wash hair sounds gross, but honestly, it's so possible. I washed my hair last night I'll show you guys what I typically use in the shower. I use the shampoo and conditioner from dry bar This is their charcoal shampoo conditioner. It's called on the rocks This video is also sponsored by verb hair care huge shout out to them. They're such an amazing company Company. You can find Verb Hair Care at Sephora, Urban Outfitters, a bunch of other retailers. And the thing that's super cool about them is that all of their products are $16, which is awesome because if you want to try something new, it's not going to break the bank. And I honestly genuinely love all of their products. I've been using them for about a month now and I literally have not found one that I don't like. In addition to using a charcoal shampoo and conditioner, I'm, I've also been using dry shampoo. I will use this when my hair is like super greasy or when I just like want extra volume. Sorry, I'm pulling my mirror over so I can see. So yeah, this is the Verb gentle cleanse and style extender light volume dry shampoo and what I also really like about this stuff is that I honestly don't even rub it in I just spray it and there's like no residue I don't know it just doesn't really leave a residue like some of the other dry shampoos that I've used and this stuff smells so good it's the best smelling dry shampoo without being like too overbearing where you're like what is that this is my natural hair what it looks like oh I forgot a step actually after I get out of the shower I have been using this this is the verb ghost prep what is it called weightless moisture and heat protectant and frizz control. This stuff, A plus. My hair is naturally ridiculously frizzy and this is my natural texture, which honestly isn't that bad. Like I probably could wear this out in public. If I don't put this in my hair, my hair will be like, and we can't deal with that, can we? Okay, so now it is time to curl. I'm curling my hair this morning. It's the first day of school. Wanna look nice. I'm gonna show you guys my typical hairstyle with like the two little butterfly clips. I use this Hot Tools curling iron. I believe it's like a one inch. Actually, it might be one and one fourth. Let me just warn everyone. When you're doing your hair, let's just all be careful. Uh, this happened to me on Monday and it looks way better than it did, but I literally got a second degree burn and it blistered and it was not fun. Just be careful what your heat setting is on. Somehow my heat setting got turned up to 430 degrees. Take kind of smaller sections. I don't hold them like for a crazy long time because the hair is naturally just gonna fall. And I curl in opposite directions. So I always start with the front ones away from my face and then these ones go, I go under the hair and then I wrap around. And I just don't use the little curling iron handle thing. I don't know, it seems kind of extra. Everyone has like their own unique style of how they like to curl, straighten, whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick as well. That's why my voice sounds literally like a dying rat. All right, we finished with the left side. It is now time to do the right side. This is honestly kind of a tiring process. I recommend turning on some YouTube, some music. Also, I'm just realizing that you can see my entire room in this video, so congrats if this video goes up before my room tour. You guys get the sneak peek. Okay, so we successfully finished curling the hair. Now it is time for the next step, which is the flip. You just gotta shake it out, flip it over. Then I use some hairspray and I just secure these curls. We use these little guys. This is such an easy hairstyle and that's why I love it. I just grab a section It kind of depends every time the key is to go like up and back now There's different ways you can do it. I can sometimes I also pull out little front pieces I just use my thumb and I almost make like an isosceles triangle I hope that's the right phrase of a triangle with one really large hypotenuse Wow, I never really thought I would actually use that terminology in my everyday life Make sure it's not just grabbing the hair that's in the section Make sure you're actually grabbing onto the hair that's just like falling naturally in your scalp. I just put it up in this dew and it's done for the whole day, which is sweet. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is time to show you guys my hairstyle of the day. <coughs> Still sick, but doing well. So I just have like my hair kind of lightly curled from yesterday. So what usually happens on these days is I don't want to put more heat in my hair. So I'm going to be using the Verb Sea Salt Spray. This stuff is really good. It smells really nice. And I just spray it and then scrunch my hair up. It just brings some life back into my hair. 
Now that my hair is all retextured, we're ready to go. I'm gonna be showing you guys the braid that I typically do. I'm gonna be doing a Dutch braid. If you guys don't know how to Dutch braid, it's very similar to French braiding. You just go under instead of over, so that way the braid looks way cleaner. It's sort of tricky to get started, but once you get the hang of it, this will be super fast. And I don't like to make mine really perfect. I just like it to be nice and tousled. The one thing that I do like to do is to start just grabbing from the top and stop doing the bottom side. So see, now I'm gonna grab up and I try to grab high so that the braid will like track along my head. And then again, I grab high, under, under again. And then once I've done that a couple times, enough for it to like go around my head, sort of, then I just finish off with like a normal braid. And you can kind of do this however you want if you want it to like stop halfway through or you can go all the way down I think today I'm gonna stop halfway through I'm using these hair ties they're super great because they don't have any wire on them and they're really gentle on your hair I also will kind of like yank on the braid a little bit Then we hair tie rubber band this off. Comment down below what you guys call it. Do you call it a hair tie or a rubber band? Ta-da, that is what the hair tie looks like. You can also take these two braids and pin them back, which I often do. Boom. I get a ton of questions on this one and this is my two buns. Sometimes I put them up here and most of the time I put them down by my ears. But today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do the bun. So hopefully I can be successful because honestly the thing about the buns is that it's kind of unpredictable. The first step is to have a middle part. Now the secret to this one is I honestly do this a lot when my hair is low key greasy because I can often like hide the grease and usually after I do this hairstyle, I don't wanna wear my hair in public the next day because the buns kind of make some weird kinks in your hair. So I'm gonna use this dry shampoo really quick and just kind of spritz underneath so that you don't really see the oil when I like pull my hair back. Okay, now that we have accomplished that, we split the back. I actually kind of keep my hair a little bit over my ear and I just pull it into what would be like a low pony. And at this point, I just start twisting it. Then I go up and I start to make a little bun in the back of my head. As soon as I feel like I'm, I've got it like pretty secure, I have my hair tie already on my wrist, so I'm ready to go and do Go all the way around the bun, do a couple twists just to like secure it and make sure that bun is not gonna go anywhere. Okay, now it's time to do it for the other side. Trickiest part, honestly, is to try to keep the symmetry. Okay, this one really looks like an ogre. I look like Princess Leia right now. Pull it down and back a little bit. And also if you have like little flyaways, you can re-tuck them in. And now for the fun part, it's to find like little tiny pieces of hair and just pull it out. So now I pulled out the little baby house. Well, look good we're looking like princess leia like this is honestly not my best bun combo but this is actually what i do sometimes you have a good bun day sometimes you don't but i still think it's pretty cute good morning welcome to the day where i am going to straighten my hair step one is to brush the hair i also straighten my hair in a middle part i always want it to be super smooth looking i've been using verbs ghost dry oil and this stuff is bomb it doesn't make your hair greasy which is what i was really nervous about <laughs> And then you just brush through it. Here's where the magic happens. We have my straightener and the brush. And this is the key of how I like to straighten my hair. Take the brush and then put the straightener right on top of it. And they are just little buddies and they guide each other together. Marshmallow. Do you like the hair? Love the hair. Woo! The straightening has been completed. She has short hair, so she doesn't have to do anything to it. I feel like since it's short, I feel like I have to. See, do I that. feel like it's the opposite because I feel like your hair is just nicely With my long hair, I did textured. absolutely nothing to uh, it. Insert picture of Taylor's long hair right here. It's beautiful. <laughs> 
Hello! Happy Friday! Welcome to another no heat hairstyle because we're trying to not fry our hair off. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my little pigtails. Okay, you guys have storage now, so sorry about that. That got a little cookie. Okay, so yeah, today we're gonna be doing the pigtails. This is kind of like, I call it the Marsha Brady look because I'm obsessed with the Brady Bunch and it's super easy, really quick. I literally just split my hair in the middle and then I just gather again, use these special little hair ties. These are my faves. And I just make a really nice low pony. I really like this when I have straight hair. I don't know why. And then like all the other hairstyles, we pull out some hair and it's really up to you how much you pull out. Feels very 90s. That is literally what I do for the pigtails. That is my finished hairstyles look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you got inspired to try a new idea or just literally wanted to see how I curled straight my hair. I keep it simple. I'm not a hair master, but I would love to like improve my skills. So if you guys have any fun hairstyles that are not too difficult to try, comment them down below. Also, huge shout out to Verb for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to be working with them because I honestly genuinely love their products and have been using all of them. My mom is sad that I'm not home right now because we were using them all together, but now I have them all. That's it for today's video. Also, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. My Insta and Twitter are both at Kiara Madison, and I always reply to your guys' DMs and try to reply to as many comments as I can. So be sure to be active on there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!